Okay, I'm going to do some swedging now. I bought these ferrules and these rope thimbles and some cable. And we're going to turn this into this weird contraption that you see right here. This is going to go across a couple of points for a tie down and a trailer. And uh, there's the parts and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to remove this stuff from the package and get started. Here we go. Okay, here I fed the wire rope through the ferrule making a loop on one end. I've had another ferrule in the center that catches these two wires. Call it wire rope. And the loop on the other end. So the whole thing is exactly, uh, what is it, uh, 5 foot 8 inches long from one end to the other. And then I'll throw in a couple of uh, <clears throat> these wire rope thimbles, they call them, and the ends, and then I'll go ahead and swedge these aluminum ferrules. So each one gets swedged, and that's coming coming right up. Unfortunately, All right, so we're going to swedge the center part first. What I'm going to do is put a crimp on each end. You just put it in the tool, make sure you got the right sizes, 3 sixteenths. I've locked this into the vise makes it much easier to do. Trying to grab it with two hands very difficult. So once it's there I just pull it home just like that. And you can see the nice crimp it puts in the ferrule. And then I'll do the other end just like this. It's a lot of pressure. And then I'll do one more in the middle. And there's the completed center section. And then I'm going to do the same thing on each end. And it'll be done. Okay, I've installed thimble number one. Yeah, sorry about that. It's on a tripod. Keep bumping stuff. And just inserted the thimble and then pulled this up to it so it's snug. And then Come in. This time we'll do the center. And we'll do the end. And the other end. There's one, <clears throat> and we'll do the other side now, put the thimble in, make sure our lengths are the same, and they are. And the last one. And then you can see how nice a job that does. Totally crimped or swedged. Pretty slick, and it makes it really easy when you lock the, the crimper in the vise. I got all this stuff from Home Depot, so there's my completed my completed product, and I'll show you a picture of the finished thing on the workbench. Okay, here's the finished uh, system. So these 
are rated at 1,500 pounds a piece. Actually, this one is, I take that back, that's 2,200 pounds. So this just unscrews on the end. You've probably seen these before, but that's what makes it so strong is it's threaded all the way through. This is threaded onto here, and then it threads onto there. This end will go around the D-rings that are in the floor of my fifth wheel trailer. And this is going to be a quad hold down strap. So this goes across from side to side. The trailer is 8 feet wide and the D-rings are exactly 6 feet apart. So from this end down to this other end right here is 6 feet. So that finished wire strap, this goes into one side, the other goes to the other, and then I'll have a hook that grabs here and pulls onto the quad, and I'll show you all this uh, when I actually get them installed. But this is the finished the finished piece. It came out pretty cool. Swedged. Absolutely nothing to stab your fingers on. The wire pieces are all... That one got down in there a little ways, but it's okay. Most of the force is here. Here it's all distributed evenly throughout the whole rope, so this ought to work, this ought to work great. So that's the construction of my uh, new hold down device and this is all part of uh, Glander R&D, Glander Research and Design. Always creating something new, working something out in the shop to make life more fun, make things more efficient and a whole lot easier. That's what Glander R&D is all about.